So these three concepts now we pitch against each other. Each concept has its own value, disadvantages and advantages. And we saw that the last concept was selected basically because it had the advantages of both the concept A and concept B because it was using a metal box. It was using a plastic top to you know retain the rounded shapes not let water come in because when you cap with a plastic all around there's a chance that there's no water leakage it had all those you know issues of making it much much more aesthetic because you can have a top which is you know like more rounded and more contemporary in design and styling uh, uh, while satisfying all the issues of maintenance and you could use this wonderful initiative of getting the best engineering plastics you heard about plastics which are commodity we have these buckets and you know mugs in our house which can break if you kick them or you know if you collapse them or hit it with a you know mallet whereas there are engineering plastics like plastics used in bicycle racing bicycles plastics used in cars the bumpers of a car for example they take so much of impact you also have seen the plastics which are used for scooter parts which are also pretty strong and they're all specially blended plastics so you have engineering plastics and specially blended plastics which are very strong so we thought it was a small component i can use this engineering plastics to make it really strong because we are in the field there and vandalism was a big issue somebody comes and hits a stone our plastic should not break so here we are that is the final selected concept so that is the material considerations once you've done those uh, the concepts you have to detail them out how will you manufacture this concept what would be the shell what would be the top be what will be the frame be like look at those uh, you know rough sketches of the designer where he just wrapped around a sheet and you know uh, like got a front panel and fix this is a very very first uh, you know like uh, uh, development of the concept and then we you know because i was the guiding the student we always make small mock up models these are hardly you know, 10 cm models these are those very interesting creative models where the student then quickly made an aluminum sheet bent it together used a small you know pu foam top just to see how the box will look and this is the you know very very first form refinements and then i told the student that one form refinement will not be enough you need to check up make multiple so he did this i said my god this looks pretty old look at this the student was trying to marry the old rounded top with the new one but then what what it is looking like is looking like an old house today if you make a new product look you know we need to make it very contemporary people should feel that it is made out of new materials and new processes so this is what happened then he went back he made one more he said, I'll take inspirations from, you know, panels, TV cabinets and, you know, audio machines. What does transistors to do with post box? Nothing. But you have those in your house. You have them all around you. So you have a perception of what a good style is or what is the contemporary products which are in the market. For example, today you can't accept a Maruti uh, 800, which was, you know, an old design. At that time, we all liked it. But today, you know, the style has moved to much beyond rounded shapes and to new designs, which are faceted, the Hondas and new cars which are coming in. So we have this perception in the people. So we need to look at products all around. So we looked at TVs and, you know, audio players and, you know, he did this design. And we said, this looks a little contemporary. So you could, you know, use this idea. And then he said made this because then what happened you need to also make water ingress impossible so if the water ingress was high he had to make stoopings to the posting slot otherwise water will get into the posting slot in the early design so then you have a functional need coming into the form there's a very large philosophy of form follows function uh, you know which is a very popular industrial design uh, phrase which also is very critical so you always play between the aesthetics the perception and the form follows function. So this is the form follows function. It's a top which is sloping on all sides. There's no chance of, chance of water ingress and also has very good hood for the posting slot. So you have all these, you know, like options, a very, very small models. And then you, uh, you know, select the one which is more uh, contemporary, which was the marriage between the old and the new. So here you started making this CAD model where you have this one, you know, like a box which is large rounded radiuses and you have a sloping you know roof which is more rounded to you know show the earlier design and then they said no it is not looking smart enough can i make it flat in the front so you see the the top has been made flat in the front so this look, looks more contemporary then the back also has been further reduced so it's a very fine formal refinements which designers do to make the product you know, look much, much more contemporary, much, much more appealing and much, much more easy to manufacture. So we are here, we are. So finally, this, you know, narrowed down to making it large radiuses and flat surfaces. See, the surface is flat on all sides. And this was finally, you know, uh, chosen uh, to go ahead with. 
and then you remember we are supposed to make two models one the small one and the large one and this we call the smart top because the product started looking smart and contemporary.